We must act urgently to reduce carbon emissions in order to address climate change. But the science tells us that temperature rises are now locked in for the coming decades. We must reduce carbon emissions, but we must also put in place adaptations to protect communities, assets and businesses from expected sea level rises. I am the member for Charlestown in the New South Wales State Parliament and prior to being elected into the Parliament in 2016, I was the Mayor of Lake Macquarie. A major and beautiful characteristic of the electorate of Charlestown and the city of Lake Macquarie is water. We're a community surrounded by water with the beaches of the east coast off the Pacific Ocean as well as Lake Macquarie, Australia's largest saltwater coastal lake. In New South Wales, the responsibility for flood planning falls to local governments or councils. Those councils are also the primary land use authority, which means that councils have the responsibility to minimise the exposure of communities to the risk. Initially, council was met with strong community objection. Some of the issues council faced were disbelief and scepticism about climate change, as well as concerns about increasing insurance premiums and falling property prices. Council recognised that it needed to work differently with the community to tackle this complex issue. We adopted a collaborative governance approach. Community collaboration was the right approach because cl tackling climate change is a new and challenging issue. Usually council would go to the community with a draft plan and ask for their feedback on the plan. This approach saw us go to the community at the very first stages and say, we need your help in deciding what is going to be in the plan. The next stage was to create an adaptation plan for the vulnerable areas in the Marks Point and Belmont areas. The process we engage people in, we hope, will encourage them to implement the plan and to continue to be part of the process into the future. There is much that governments can learn from the Lake Macquarie experience. Bringing constituents into the tent and involving them in the solutions was a learning process which will no doubt benefit our citizens in dealing with rising sea levels and tidal inundation in the decades to come.